You ready for the phone? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready, but I'll bet you bet I better get ready. Doing almost a Dungeness crab crispy rice, almost like a Spanish dish. I'm gonna make a sofrito. The actual pickled leaves are gonna go into this with some fresh leaves, some of the juice. Sorry, guys. I got foie gras, which I'm excited about, because I think the fattiness of the foie will be really nice with the infusions of the cannabis. I'm gonna do a play on fried chicken and waffles. Um, my restaurant in New York, it's called Root and Bone, and it's all about Southern food, and we're really known for our fried chicken. I'm all about that Southern flair. I'm gonna do a boneless chicken wing, stuff it with some foie gras, some peaches, serve it over some waffles with a honey hot sauce. I have sweetbreads, which is the thymus gland. Normally, when we cook sweetbreads in the restaurants, we cook them overnight. So when I think about sweetbreads and having to cook them quickly, it kind of instantly makes me think of this Argentine dish where they grill sweetbreads. And I'm thinking, if I can get that sort of cannabis juice mixed with some parsley, I have the base of a classic chimichurri. So they gonna show us talking about this, but in them cooking. Yep. Oh, that's cute. What does that taste oh, like? Oh, Have you yeah. had a leaf before? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, um, tastes like um, some funky asparagus. <laughs> I could already tell you that this is not going to be easy, judging the three meals. I would say that they're all going to be amazing. Three, two, one. Time's up. <laughs> Yay. Good job, you guys. Good job. Look at you. Come in for the sweaty hug. Sweaty hugs. Janine, you're up first. I got you some soul food today. Looks like you put together something that would be considered a classic. I got foie gras. So I seared the foie gras in a little cannabis olive oil. Then I made a mousse. I folded through some peaches and stuffed that inside of the chicken wing. Then where I actually infused the cannabis juice was in the hot honey butter. This is hot honey butter. Yeah. Mmm. Let's make it so you graze after you finish. So good you got to say grace twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought it hit on the classic number, and I could definitely taste some of the terpenes from the infusion. Yeah, it was sweet. It had a little bit of heat to it. Sweet heat with some sweet leaf. Yeah. That's amazing. You like it? You do. Thank you, Janine. Thank you. Thanks, Janine. guys. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Kevin, you're up. You guys said you wanted me to step it up flavor-wise, do something bigger, so I pulled on kind of the Argentinian cuisine hat. Sweetbreads are very traditional in Argentina. It's one of the few places that really cooks them fresh. And so these have been blanched and then grilled and then brushed again with honey that I infused with cannabis as well. And then I come back and have made a cannabis chimichurri. That's really good. Thanks. It's dangerous, right? Very dangerous. I don't know how much to eat. The yeah. pepperiness of the cannabis leaves in that chimichurri, it just goes nice with the sweet breads and the chorizo. Bringing in that fat and incorporating, let it coat everything, just blends it all together perfectly. Thank you, I appreciate it. Would it be fattening? Well, I like to think that that's good fat, you know? <laughs> like me, good fat. Anytime it tastes good, I get suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Chef. Thanks. Thanks, guys, appreciate it. Dale, you're up. Oh, shit. I got Dungeness Crab. It smells great. One of my favorite ingredients to cook with. And I decided to make a Dungeness Crab and cannabis leaf sofrito rice. It's Latin in origin, where it has a little bit of crispy bottom to it, but it's almost a cannabis leaf dashi. My infusion from the last challenge was rice wine vinegar, so there's a pickled cannabis leaf on top. Then we made a, a cannabis butter for the Dungeness Crab legs that are just kind of meant to be like lollipops. You just pop them in. I told you I had my eyes on this crab all the while. This is like addicting mm. all of the textures, the flavors. It's just hitting all of the notes. They call it a cornucopia of flavors. Yeah. Just bursting. Thank you. You can taste the cannabis butter. It's mild, but it does allow for the sweetness of the crab without overpowering it. Yeah, everything was, you know, pretty much complemented each other. It was very tasty. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would say, like, going forward, it just gets weirder. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just feel, feel happy.